Hello everybody, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. I am Neg Primer and we are looking at uh, a couple new contracts here. So what they want me to do is test the RT-10 solid fuel booster, which is this one, at altitude and flight. Oh, haul it. Oh, okay, we don't have to even test it, we just have to have it. I wonder if we have to have it full. Uh, and then this one, we still have to test the swivel rocket. Uh, but that one actually has to be set off, I believe, while we were, while we are, uh, at altitude. Uh, so we are... Uh, we are kind of at a strange place right now because we don't yet have, and I should really be grabbing some science, um, but I don't believe we have, actually, you know what, I'm not even going to do all of that. I'm going to just do one. Uh, like I said, here's where it gets a little bit weird because it wants me to test this out. And what we're going to want to do is use some stack decouplers. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. And so this is how we're gonna do that. But we, yeah, we don't have the decouplers that go around the outside yet, uh, is why this is a little bit strange. We're just going to do just straight up like that. Uh, and then we need parachutes on this thing. So last time we did this, we actually had a little bit of a strange occurrence where we lost the parachute on the nose. So this time around, why do we not have snapping turned on? This time around, goddamn game. Keeps resetting everything. Is that right? No, okay, it is on the white. All right, so with that, we're going to uh, test and see if we can't accomplish at least one of these. We'll turn RCS and SAS on. Okay, and if we pull this up again, here's what we're trying to accomplish. So we need to get up to 21,000 feet with an RT-9, or an RT-10, sorry, booster still on us. Oh, no, whoa! It did not like that. It did not like that at all. Um, let's see if we can't <clears throat> get a better idea of what caused that. Um, what is that? That's to fire that rocket. We are also are missing a stage. Okay. Oh, and that is not a decoupled thing. Okay. Okay. Let's go just a little bit at an angle. See, and what's weird about that is I didn't, uh, I didn't do anything to cause that last time. It just kind of did it on its own because we're way too top heavy. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> so the big thing here. Let's uh let's 
I don't think we can. I don't think we can. But let's uh, see if we can't get that decoupler. We can. We can. Okay. Cool. Well, that changes things. That changes things dramatically. Um, so, if we start... One, two, three, four... And then we can grab that decoupler. Okay. Um, so we got those on there now. And um, there we go. I was, forgot what I was looking there for for a second there. Okay, so I mean this is this is not looking too different from what we oh what we used last time couple all four of those and then we fire this and we'd couple it and then okay and then the hope here is that we can sort we can keep this whole upper portion at least might be about time to start naming these things as well nope Boom. <laughs> Going too fast now. But I almost want to see if we can just, it just says have it. So if we can get speed down, we'll meet this, and then we can jettison it under 520. <laughs> kind of just waiting. So we're now under the right speed. Huh. There's going to be kind of a sweet spot to hit these things in. Let's go ahead and like position ourselves a little bit. Um This is going to be the real trick. I don't know if we're going to be able to get this. We'll see. If we're, if we're falling fast enough, I might uh, see if we can get this on our way down. This is a really narrow window on speed for this. It's 70, it's 70 meters a second. Uh, you got to be precise with that. 50. Okay, we're finally going down. Let's go ahead and grab a crew report. And we're just kind of falling right now. And actually, kind of looks like we're just almost directly above... Okay, we're moving at the right speed. It is a little strange that that's not ticking off, but we're way too high. I don't know if we're going to be able to get either one of these. Love to see once we follow 29, we're going way too fast. 
It's going to take off here in a second for this. There's like no sound at all in the game right now. It's a little distracting. All right, well, let's see if we can't uh, get up to this. 680. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay. We're actually not even going to... Uh, let's revert to vehicle assembly. Huh? Can I not just go straight to 50? Okay, fine. <laughs> fine, game! Fine! So, we don't have as much boost this time. I'm hoping that'll put us in the right... the right range for some of these. Should have put boot limiter on this. Not high enough for this. I missed what this what was wrong with this, but come on. Damn it! <laughs> we keep going outside the range. We're just not quite perfect at the same time on these. Let's uh, speed these up and see what we can't get ourselves into with this. I don't know, it might be I should have just taken the orbit one. Okay, because we're just coming straight down now. Going the right speed. Okay. Okay, okay, come on. Nope, nope. We aren't building up our speed on the way down fast enough. Maybe I should have turned around and tried to nosedive sooner. <clears throat> Let's try this one more time with this limit. But yeah, like I said, there's kind of a weird sweet spot with all of this that I'm going to have to hit uh, in order to make this work. Oh, oh. It started to tip over there. I like, like that action. Okay, so we need 2100 going 350 to 520. And again, I don't know that this will even cross off uh, if we reach that, which we will not. We will. 2100. Bam. Okay, yeah, we did get it. Okay. Cool. Uh, and then this one, 24. 
Shit, yeah, we're never gonna go fast enough for that. So let's, uh... Oh, stop moving. Let's, uh, let's actually... Let's go ahead and do that. everything we have left. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this was... That part was just a little bit just for the fun of it. Because, yeah, that's... Uh, if we got this, we might... It might be time to start trying to put ourselves into orbit. Uh, let's go ahead and... Boop. But, uh, not really sure why the game's not, like, playing any music or anything. See, see, I can see my desktop audio is just dead over on the side. Ugh. We're not in the most stable of ships right now. We're coming in super fast! Holy crap! <laughs> Slow down! Slow down! <laughs> okay! Oh man! That. I am amazed that that worked. Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> That might have something to do with it right there. That we were still on such a high speed. Where is my shadow? Burp. Okay. <laughs> Game is just being dead quiet at times. Right now, it's making sound. Alright. So we got a bunch of stuff there. Uh, we have a good amount of money now. Um, hey. Test jet engine at launch site. Okay, that sounds great. That sounds great. So yeah, that worked surprisingly well-ish. Kerbin launch site, J-20 jet engine, J-20 basic jet engine, oh. Can I just do that? It also doesn't have any fuel or anything. I was not paying attention to uh, some of those facts. Okay. So since it is a jet engine, they do say launch site. This isn't called the launch site. So if I put Okay, we're not going to spend... Well, shit, you know what? No, I can't do that. I'm going to have to do it. I don't have any jet engine stuff.
Um, okay, so we're gonna have to do... Hold on, what is it? It's not gonna let me... Okay. Uh... What is the damn thing? Okay. Alright, and then just case this actually takes off or something. I need to pay a little bit more attention. Okay. That's all I needed to do for that, right? Yeah. Let's go ahead and recover it. Doop, 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 doop. Pharaoh VIP. So this is kind of where it gets a little bit weird is when it wants to start you taking on those. Um, I think the next best thing Uh, I think what we're going to do is wait until next time to actually try to orbit. Uh, altitude of 30,000 meters. Oof. Is that suborbital? Altitude of 53,000. Oosh. They really want you to go high to actually have it be considered an orbit. Suborbital. That's actually suborbital when I pick when I picture for this planet. Um, in flight. Okay. Grab these. We have two active. Uh, swivel. We still have the swivel fuel engine, and then we also have the radial decoupler uh, that we are going to have to try to get off and then I think we might actually try I don't know next time we should either go try to go orbital or should we uh, try to do something else uh, should we try to go orbital or should we try to get some of the uh, more sciencey things like uh, do a crew report over the different planescapes and all that And I can't help but feel like all of that is a lot easier to do. Nope, take this whole thing off. Okay. Alright. So, what we're trying to do now... Radial decoupler. We have to go on pretty goddamn fast at a high altitude. And then swivel. Still trying to get that one done. You know what? We're actually going to... TH-38... Wow, they want us to go super high and then use the radial, this radial decoupler rather than the stack decoupler. Um, so you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach... Uh, you know, it's weird is I, we haven't gotten, I haven't been paying attention to it. Oh, we have gotten it, okay. We have a service bay. Let 
which allows us to put in, well, we're not going to do that yet. Because we still got the goo. I mean, when we'll really need those is when we're doing a lot of different things. Alright. And we should also throw a thermometer on there. Let's throw two thermometers on there, because we haven't really done any of the heat stuff. So we can uh, we can get some good science for that. said we gotta get super high and we gotta be going fast when we use these so this might be complete folly here may in fact be a really poor decision but we're making it. We're doing it. I'm trying to... That looks about right. Actually, except... Okay. Nope, we don't. I'm actually not going to limit anything. Um, we are going to just kind of go for it. Because we want to get pretty damn high before we even try to disengage these ones. Mm. Vehicle assembly. How many parts are we at? Three too many, huh? I mean, getting rid of the goo and two thermometers would get rid of that. Or the fins. We can try it without the added aerodynamics. Then we're too heavy still. You know what we can do to offset that, though? Upgrade. Does that up the amount of parts we can have on this? No, that does not. That's just pure tonnage. So, okay. Pretty damn heavy here. Gonna have to be to get these, though. Oh, 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 oh. Wish I didn't have to set SAS and RCS on every single time. Because we have to get super high. Okay. We have to get super high and super fast. here is that we might not have enough aerodynamics. Damn it. Okay, I really wanted to get this off the ground before the end.
do have a limit on these, right? Needs to start paying more attention to the to that over there. But yeah, look at how high and how fast we have to be going. I'm never gonna get anywhere near this under the current setup. We're not going anywhere near the speed, and we're only a third of the height. <laughs> Okay. It's possible. You know what? We can try the second one. we limit the thrust on this this actually might give us what well, we need to get the second one at least Going 24, we need between 24,000 and 28,000. At a reasonable speed. Log temperature. Let's go ahead and log temperature. It's five signs right there. I like that everything... Nope. By the time we're going fast enough, we're too high. This is kind of where it gets a little bit weird. See, that's the moon, I believe. Let's go ahead and grab. Whatever science we can. So we'll at least get some science off this, if nothing else. Um, big thing is 24 to 28. Twenty four to twenty eight. Going way too fast to ever possibly. Burr. <laughs> 
it's just <laughs> I don't... Okay. Well, I don't know. Uh, like I said, I was hoping to get it this time around. But uh, we're going to have to call it quits there. So I want to thank you all for watching once again. Uh, when we come back, we'll, um, we're going to continue trying to knock one of these off. And then maybe, uh, maybe go into orbit. So once we land... So thanks everybody for watching, have a good day.